Hello guys, welcome back to Sedex Rabbit Room. My name is Sedex, a young and passionate rabbit farmer here in Ghana. So today's video, I actually want to share with you guys what I want you to do next time when you visit a rabbit farm. Okay, like most of you guys won't take this like much, much important, but you know, I'll just talk about it a little bit so that as beginners, you can know what to do when you visit a farm. So if you are new to the channel, you are highly welcome. If you are a member of this channel already, you are welcomed as well. Most farmers, most beginners won't take this seriously because they, they know that there is no value in it, right? There is no value in, you know, visiting farms, what you should, you should do when you visit them, you know, some things you, you should put in place so that it can help you when you, you yourself, you start a farm, okay? So the first thing I want, I want to talk about is have a diary, okay? When you visit a farm, always make sure that you, you are having a book, a pen or pencil with you. You know, you have a small bag holding you, you go there, you know, you can jot down many, many things that can help you grow and develop your farm. Second thing I would want to talk about is know your reason for visiting, okay? Know the reason why you are visiting the farm. Now, why is this important? If you are into rabbits for meat purpose, if, or if you are into rabbits for breeding purposes, then you know your reason for visiting other farmers, right? To learn more about your space of the rabbit farm okay that's why you visit so you knowing the reason for visiting will help you ask similar questions to what you want you can ask similar questions that will help you not just any questions people are asking you just go and be asking right similar questions that can help you as a farmer to grow okay so the third thing i want you to do is meet the workers okay if it's on on a commercial base meet the workers you know let them have their thoughts on rabbit farming. How is rabbit farming to them? How is it? Although that's their business, they are working for someone, but ask them how do they feel if they are with the animals, okay? So that you, you can know that, yeah, there is, there is much more people who are interested in the rabbit farming sector, but much people are not talking about it, okay? So meet the farmers, you know, learn things, the, 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 because they are the managers, right? So learn some things from them. Okay, how they feed them, the, the daily routine, you know, how they take care of the rabbits, when they give birth, when they win them and all other stuff. You can learn much, much more of that from the workers, okay, not the owner, if it's on a commercial base. And even if it's on a local, you know, farm that you visit, like mine, when you come here, you can ask questions, you know, questions, then I'll give you answers for that. Like similar questions and specific questions that can help you to develop okay not just like random questions around and be asking that's that's not what you want okay you want to make use of why you are there right so make sure you ask good questions so that you can get the perfect answer that will help you the fourth thing i would want you to do is write down five reasons five reasons why you like the farm okay now this can be like after you are done with the questions now, I want you to write down five reasons why you think the farm is at its best, you know, position. It, the marketing is good, you know, the management is good, you know. So write down five reasons. And these five reasons will help you to also, you know, implement the same thing, but on a different way. You know, implement the same thing on your farm, but a different way. A way that works for you, so that you can know how to manage it. Not like when you have that five reasons from the farm you implement that same thing on your farm right you should have your own experience so once you have their side of experience then you can implement that and change some things from it you know which can help you to grow your farm all right so the fifth thing i would want you to talk about is ask them about caging system okay now this is very very looked down okay most farmers don't like asking this question and especially the beginners i would want you to lay more emphasis when you visit farms okay learn more about their caging systems do they build it themselves do they have other people who build it for them okay what is their experience in building the cages right which can help you in your favor because some people are now you know just fumbling around with the um dropping system you know because they don't have a well or self-cleaning cages so it makes it more difficult and time consuming right so learn how 
their kitchen system is and use that in your favor okay so if you if you know that they have a self clean cages ask them about how it is done if they are the ones who make the cages the other thing i want you to do is to ask them the breeds they have and the importance okay now the breed alone is very broad and i would want you to ask them why they they decided to go in for that breed when you see that okay these breeds are, are in higher demand then you can start you know breeding those type of rabbits so that you can get more money coming in okay so you know on commercial business most of the time they want you know the california the new zealand the chinchilla and somehow the beverage rabbits too the beverage rabbits right so you can ask more of the breed they have and the advantages the eighth thing i want you to ask is ask about the marketing availability okay which of the breeds is in higher demand okay which of the rabbit farming aspects are more farmers getting into right so that you can know what you want what you want to go into okay so if a, a california or a new zealand rabbit is in high demand for meat then you know that okay then this is the type of breed i can use to produce my rabbits and that will help you to bring in more money when selling them as meat okay and if also maybe the chinchilla is in higher demand for breeding purpose then you know that okay you have to be breeding more of the chinchillas than the new zealand or the california so that you can know the, the pricing strategy you can use to market them okay the other thing i want you to ask is the feeding experience okay now i know on a commercial base they don't want to they don't want to you know waste much money buying feed right so some of them you know some commercial farmers produce their own feed and this can be an advantage right you can learn the produ the products that are used to produce their feeds you can learn the ingredients that is necessary to be added to the rabbit feed that can help in boosting their growth and this will help you to have more knowledge in the nutritional value that your rabbits need okay and it can help you in production as well okay so now this topic is part of the 50 plus uh, topics that i talked about in my previous videos and i will be making more of this for you guys okay especially the beginners you know when you want anything about rabbit farming here is the channel and i'll be producing content from now on i'll be producing content like these ones for beginners right so when you want to learn more about the marketing style then i have a video for you guys so you can check it up here or over here yeah one of the two sides the video will be there and you can get to watch it the next most important thing i want you to ask is medication and diseases okay what is the type of diseases that they've encountered on the farm and if they can share it with you how they are able to cure that disease if it's organic then they can teach you you know one or two things you can just start it and learn more about it and also you have to learn more about the diseases that can you know happen to your farm now the last but not the least thing i want you to do this is very important okay this is very very important write down a conclusion on your diary okay write down a conclusion why is it important for you to follow these steps that you were able to you know learn from this farm okay not specifically follow the way they do it but you know have your own way of doing it so yes that's the end of today's video and i will catch you guys in the next one peace